I made buy from Big's Arcane in a week and I'm about to show you how I did it. Now, if you don't know what Arcane is, then why are you even here? Go watch Arcane, goddammit. But before we even got here, we had to go back to the basics when the whole thing was just a cube. Um, okay, it's not, not just a cube, I deleted it and I've imported a pretty bad base mesh that I've used for my previous models. But the base mesh kind of sucks because there's a lot of bad topology. Now, if you don't know what topology means, it's basically just a bunch of squares lined up together. Alright, so now we just have to redo all of these squares from the beginning because the previous topology was garbage. So now you're probably confused what topology is, so let's just do some research. Topology is blah 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 blah. Okay, no, this is confusing. For example, take a look at this character. It looks good, right? And then look what happens when we what the fu- So yeah, this is a f mess and it can probably explode your PC. And my laptop is probably dying right now. So to fix this, we need to have clean topology and to have clean topology we gotta manually place all these squares one by one because blender doesn't really have a good free tool to do this properly and after spending days on just this goddamn topology we have a good base mesh ready to use to create vi but before we do that we need to first see if the proportions are good uh now yes this this face doesn't look like vi at all so i, I got some references online and started to just grab out a rough sculpt of vi this is pretty easy to do since we can just grab whatever squares we used earlier and, and just let Blender handle all of the hard work. The eyes were just made by using a procedural eye shader that I followed from this dude. Thanks CG Rogue, this shader is very cool. And it allows me to change the color and whatever the eye has to make it look like an eye. I'm a human biology expert alright, I literally failed it in class. Then I had to make sure the mouth had a closing and holy F that looks cursed. So what's good about Blender is, I don't have to repeat the same steps when I'm sculpting on the other side because it allows you to mirror whatever steps you made on one side. So um, yeah, less work for me. Now with that out of the way, we can make her hair so she doesn't look like she has cancer. For, le for, le for legal reasons, that's a joke. And I found out a pretty neat trick. All you gotta do is just Add a bezier circle, add a bezier path, bring them up, scale them down, make the path curve take the shape of the circle, load down the resolution, add new points to circle, play with them till you get a good shape that is better than your own hair, add color, and then and with that, the hair is done. Um, yeah, um, and the hair is finally done. Looks kind of like Vi, right? Okay, but I'm kind of getting tired sitting down like this. So I'm gonna go out and learn how to ride a bicycle. <laughs> Anything to say? Walk with me. <laughs> Walk with me. Yeah. Okay, this part's out. <laughs> and after learning how to ride a bicycle, which is absolutely useless for this video, I came back home to finish Vi. She has so much to do. Her chin and face looks kinda too fat like myself, so we need to define it a bit more. Her legs need more fat, along with her thighs, if you know what I mean. And now we have Vi as a base model, which I can now put clothes on top of, because I have to, else YouTube will probably ban this video. Now this part is about to get a bit more complicated than it seems like. Now the first thing we do to apply textures and stuff on a model, we do UV unwrapping. And I, to this day, don't know what UV unwrapping is, so let's just do another research on this. What the f*** is this? So this is a cube. There you go, the cube. Pretty cool, yeah. But now what we can do is, we can unwrap this, and we can then, this. Oh, f So now we have a 2D unwrap of a 3D mesh. And when we um, do something, I don't know, like draw a color or whatever, whatever, and when we wrap this again, we get that whatever texture we made on the 3D mesh which is pretty sick in my opinion yeah very cool and now we can paint on we can paint on Y skin this way and we can do this on not only color but even other properties like roughness so you can probably have the shiniest skin out there since we also have clean topology like I mentioned earlier we can make clothes out of this pretty easily then we just repeat the same UV unwrap thing and now we can apply textures on it then I realized something was wrong with her ass um 
felt too tight, so I had to fix that a bit. The problem with modeling some clothes, though, is that the shape can feel a little too organic and random. So the way I did the belt was the same way I did the hair in the queen topology. Then just add some random holes everywhere on the mesh, and hey, Vi is looking kind of dripped out. Adding detail is the hardest part, though, because to add detail, you need to increase the amount of squares. And increasing squares is really bad for your computer. And my laptop is actually pretty garbage at this job. But luckily for me, my brother has an RTX PC that I can milk off of. Not everything has to be detailed though, like this part was actually quite a waste since I could just make a model out of it. Old texture go bye bye. Just adding stretch marks and wrinkles here and there helps a lot. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. But this stuff is actually quite brain dead. Now all we have to do is make this detail into a texture. And how the f*** do we do that? I don't even f know, I'm not a rocket scientist. So apparently we got to bake the detail. Just like we bake bread from dough, except it's a texture. Alright, look at this. It's stuck. I don't know what to do. I think I... Uh, I may have put some... Very, very... Oh, f Okay, so the baking takes like f forever, so even to do this, I gotta go to my brother's PC and break it from there. And after that's done, we have all this free detail on this shitty model as a texture, which is what we want. And it also just makes it look quite cool. You can really see the difference with and without it, and it does make a significant difference. And now comes the annoying part. Rigging. Now, do you know how you have bones in your body? Well, you gotta do the same for these models. Except you have to give them the information of where and how to move. And I'm no rigging expert, and I already explained how I failed at biology and also every other class. So what I'm gonna do is just copy the same rig I used for my previous model. And that's so easy. All I gotta do is just adjust a little bit. And wait, wait, wait what? So apparently I can't use the old rig because I'm using a new blender version. Fuck. So I got to place all the bones again from scratch. Now I'm actually using an add-on for this called Rigify, which is a free blender add-on that's on And this does most of the work for me. All I have to do is just place the bones and let all the auto weight painting do its job. And if you don't know what weight painting is, well, you do not want to know. It's fucking terrible. Okay, so even after that, most of it came out pretty badly. <laughs> Lol, what the fuck? It's literally clipping through. So after fixing most of those, so I fixed most of it, and now I guess it works pretty fine. And after all of the hard work out of the way, we can finally make Vi's gloves. I followed the same reference I used earlier and just started modeling out the gloves with basic hard surface modeling techniques, yada yada, do this and that, and boom! We got ourselves some gloves. Then we just rename all this garbage and finally fit her into Vi. Slight problem though, her hands are a little too big, or the glove fit is just a little too small. And instead of being a smart person and, you know, just making the glove fit better, I just chopped off her hands. I'll chop your hands too if you didn't subscribe. Then finally, we just rig all of the glove, reapply new weights. Yes, as usual, it won't work the first try. So I fixed those errors. And yes, as usual, it won't work on the second try. And yes, as usual. And finally, we have done it. Also, I actually kind of took about a week and a half maybe, but I mean, come on. Lastly, the thing I always do is make a facial rig as well, because we want to make some amazing animations later on, like... And what do I have? You're hot, cupcake. It took quite a while, but I feel like I did an okay job at it. I then asked one of my Discord pals for help. Oh, you should totally join my Discord, by the way. And then he gave me a really nice scene that I can use to make my animation in. And that's how I made Vi in a week. And, and a half. But let's just say a week. Thanks guys for watching, by the way. If you're still here, that's awesome. You can download everything that I just made with the link in the description completely free. Also, check out my other social media. I usually post progress on other stuff there as well. All right, bye. I'll be working out. See ya.